the Raptors or the Rockets or any NBA team needs. And that's what he has to figure out. But as far as the ability to score the ball, he can definitely do that. He can shoot it. A little undersized as far as probably guard twos, but he can make up for that. He can be one of those guys that come off the bench, instant offense. And so far, he's he's done a nice job of auditioning for one of these jobs for the Raptors or, or for anybody in the NBA. Well, here's a question for you. Doesn't every team need shooting? <laughs> a guy that can fill it, efficient shooting. There you go. Efficient shooting. Not just putting it up, but hitting it at a high clip. Interesting because it looks as if the Raptors have stayed with their main guys. Well, the 76ers have waved the flag and brought in a lot of guys from the pitch. Yeah, Raptors, they, they said that's not our problem. We're going <laughs> to play our guys that we're trying to get a chance to look at. Less than a minute to go. 18-point game. And for the guys that are on the floor right now for the 76ers, you still want to make plays and give your best effort and show what you can do. Muhammad, a little too strong on that one. Yes, it was. 49 seconds left. So, stand well for Coloco, the only draft pick for either of these two teams that we saw today. 12 points, 7 rebounds, 3 steals, 3 blocks, 2 assists. He did a lot. He did a lot. Uh, he's all over the place. He was active. He blocked some shots. He changed some shots. I think the one thing I liked about him, he was active. Did get moved around a lot. The one thing you wanted to watch is his strength versus other guys at a higher level than college basketball. Did a pretty good job on that in that area as well. As he takes a seat, so as we were mentioning the two teams and their philosophy in this final minute, looks like the dinosaurs have made a substitution as well. well this one's by 20. We had a close game. It was 70-70 at one point. That was 97-77, all Raptors. Well, the Raptors came out strong, and then Philadelphia responded, ending the first half on that 24-7 to run. But from there, the second half, like you said, Toronto took control yet again. Yeah, they did. Good job by them. The intensity was there, execution, they executed at the right time, and they had just this spurt about six minutes where the 76ers couldn't answer. You know, your timing is absolutely impeccable there, Smitty. With 6.47 to go, it was a two-point game, and then it was a 20-2 run by Toronto that ended this one. Raptors come out on top, 97-77, your final score.